Good evening to you. It is a crime that has left a community in shock. A six year old boy murdered early this morning as he slept in his family's home in Versailles. And while we know how Logan Tipton died, there are still a lot of questions. Police say that 32 year old Ronald Exantis from Indianapolis broke into that home and killed Logan. The family told police they don't know Exantis and no one knows why they were targeted. We have top story team coverage tonight. We begin with WKYT's Kristen Kennedy. She's looking into the suspect's past. Ronald Exantis is a registered nurse in Indianapolis. Leaders at Fresenius Medical Care, his employer, told WKYT they released him Monday from employment with their acute dialysis program in Northeast Indiana. Overnight, Versailles police say Exantis broke into this home on Douglas Avenue, grabbed a knife from the kitchen, and used that knife to stab and kill six year old Logan Tipton. In court Monday afternoon, prosecutors revealed he also hurt two of the other children in the home and the father, who restrained him until police arrived. I wish he had broken in when we lived there so that because we were armed and I just felt like. Maybe this wouldn't have happened. Karen Meyer Weezer and her husband rent their home to the Tiptons. They wanted a place to raise all their five kids, and they always felt like that place was their home. And they're just, they're wonderful, wonderful people. They're encouraging people to donate to the family during this difficult time. They're just a good, solid family unit. Um, great people. Um, never had any, any issues with them or trouble. They're also remembering the boy who they say came from an incredibly loving family. Cute little round faced baby. He was just precious. Just precious. Inverse sales. Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Just a horrible situation. The suspect, Exantis, will be back in court next Monday. It didn't take long for people to begin showing their support for Logan Tipton's family. A GoFundMe page has already raised thousands to pay for the little boy's funeral. And tonight, a vigil for Tipton will be held at the Falling Springs Park football field in Versailles. WKYT Sean Moody continues our team coverage live from the park, where the vigil begins in about 30 minutes. Sean. Hey there, Amber. People I've talked to here in Versailles are just gutted. They can't make any sense of what happened. A six year old boy killed seemingly at random. Now they're hoping that coming together here on the football field where he used to play can bring some sense of comfort. Logan played in a youth football league here in Versailles. In fact, Peter Barnhart, the league organizer, told me this was his very first year playing. Barnhart said he hopes to see hundreds of people pack onto the Falling Springs football field coming up here at 6 30 to remember Logan. He said Logan was one of those kids that let you know there was good in the world. And he said Logan's father was a coach in the league and that everyone involved in that league stands with them. We want to wrap our arms around them and, and let them know that we're there for them. And, you know, he, his family's lost a, a son, but I think they've gained 75. Now this vigil gets going here at 6.30. The, co the organizer there, Peter Barnhart, said that everyone is welcome, whether they're from Versailles or not, whether they knew the family or not. They just want everyone to come out here and show a little love. Live in Versailles, Sean Moody, WKYT. And talk about love and kindness. So far, that GoFundMe page has raised more than $15,000. Logan Tipton was a kindergarten student at Simmons Elementary School. He leaves behind three siblings who also attended the school. A crisis team helps students deal with the loss today. Leaders say the school of about 400 students is a tight knit community where everyone knows one another. We have broken hearts um, anytime that you lose a student. Um, Especially in a district like this, where we're pretty small and we and we know one another, it's like losing a member of your own family. A group of pastors also went to the school to help support students and teachers. 